Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms. The Furious Wild DLC, the 190 start date as He Yi, the Yellow Dome Rebellion. So we are Her Man right now, the bandit um, who's affiliated with Huang Shao. Um, and we've got a small army here and we're attacking Huang Zhu because, you know, he's there. Uh, we've smashed, uh, I'm not quite sure who this chap was who we smashed, but we're about to smash him again. Let's get into the battle and uh, take a little bit of extra territory. Because, of course, we start in Wunan. Wunan was the Yuan family heartland. It was very, very wealthy. Make no mistake, the lands were wealthy. But they didn't have food. We need to smash some land, get some food, get some income, because we're He Yi. We're all about people, and we need population. The more food we have, the better it gets for us, basically. At least that's my thinking. I'm not great with population growth. I am much, much better with beating people with a stick. Um, but we're on to stick beating duty over here. Hello, that was uh, unexpected. Stick beating duty over here. We're going to go over here and beat these chaps with a stick first. We'll take all of this off. Start battle over here. Thumpy, thumpy. You die horrifically. And shoot. And three, two, one, boom, boom, boom. Excellent job. You tried real hard. You missed most of them. Go up here. Ride, 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 ride. It's okay if he gets away. Smash these guys into something that resembles a bloody pulp on the ground. You guys get in there. You two can shift up here. Let's see if we can cut them off at least. <sighs> right, they are off for good. Go. Kill, 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 kill. Charge. Actually, I don't need both of you. You can ride up here. You as well can shift up here. Oh, man, go. You've dealt with them. Uh, speed this up just a notch. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Yes, we've caught them. Good. Right, they've broken. Right, you face them. You, 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 and you. You're going to advance onto the top of this hill. Oh man, you chase and kill everything that's in your way. We don't know what's on top of this hill, but if they're clever, they will have set up an ambush. Um, they don't seem to be clever yet. Where are they? They're over there somewhere, aren't they? Because they're idiots. Yep. Well, slightly to the left of where I suspected they would be, but doesn't make them any less idiotic. Over here we go. Um, I think I want you there, actually. And then you chaps, you've done a magnificent job. You're going to shift here. You've got some archers in the rear line. So let's just stand there and wait for a second. You, yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah, shooty, shooty, shooty and all that. Stand here, actually. Arseholes to this. I know it's more, you know, impressive to do this from the side and cut all the way through them. But bang, bang. Ah, uh, not great. Disappoint me, huh, man? Your shooting was off. Anyway, ride around the flank because they are dumb. In we go. Smash their archers to bits. All of you chaps can now advance. Kill, 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 kill. Oh man, it is killing. Excellent. Back you come. In you go. Slow down. You are going to take a charge there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. And you boys, take him. How's that? That simple enough? Should be. G Militia smashed, G Militia smashed. Infantry Captain is gonna die too. You boys are chasing them, right? Oh man, over here, deal with him. You guys, off you chase. There we go, they're broken, you stay here. Because they're not coming back at all. The other ones might come back, so we'll keep things going. Oh uh, no, they're definitely not coming back. Right, all over, fantastic, easy. Very, very easy, close victory. Hmm, I don't think it was that close. Yeah, I don't think it was that close. Just looking at the kills they got, I don't think it was that close. Their axes barely got any. They've got one yellow tur turban unit that's a little bit hurt. But couldn't care less. Done. Gain. Occupy. Aid wounded. He dies. Excellent. We have money. The strength of the yellow turbans rises from the foundations. We should consolidate our hold over our territories and rebuild their infrastructures to better serve the people. 
If you order the workers to erect new buildings, our settlements will endure. Construct or upgrade a building. Yellow Turban strive for balance in the world. You must prove to the people that you will use power to bring lasting stability. Each step on your path towards enlightenment also brings everyone closer to the great peace. Of course, we need to reach balanced. Okay. Doki killed in battle. We have killed Jung. Ooh. Poor bunny. Uh, Runan. Runan. Uh, yeah, I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade this because it will start to look after itself if it's upgraded. We have no spare money. You're going to sit here. We've got nothing because we're still in turn one. Bloody hell. Yeah. Right. Have a look here. We got peace with nobody. Uh, we're not at peace. We're not at war with that many people. That's fine. That's not bad. Gong Du, we have military access, etc., etc. Trade and marriage, trade and ancillaries, request payment, blah, 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 blah. Do you have any... Do you have a heavenly sword? I don't think... I don't think a heavenly sword is all that useful to us. Go CH trade. Ah, you are. You're pretty useless. Um, how much would this cost? Out of curiosity. Oh, a fuck ton. Interesting. Um, right. And then in the old court, we've got nothing we can do. Um, we've got no candidates. We've got nothing else. Of course, the more candidates we get as well, the better it is for us. But we don't get that many good candidates. But let's move on to the next turn and see what the game brings us. We're at war with Kong Zhou. He's, of course, a governor. Uh, we've got, of course, the uh, Han territories here, led by Huang Song. Um, and then south we've got Huang Zhu, who we're also at war with. Again, Liu Biao, governor. So, uh, not overly worried about thumping governors into oblivion. But a stone archer, how solidly disappointing. Um, yeah, food is always good. Food is always good, but... But we uh, we could definitely do with a few extra soldiers. Um, no question about that at all. We we'll shift here. He of course has an army. I, I know he has an army. He has a decent garrison. He has Lu Gong. And Huang Zhu as well, a ranged ambusher, of course, because he kills Sun Jian. Uh, interesting. This will bring us into conflict with Cao Cao. If we take that. But that could be quite fun. So, let's go take this. Get some food coming in. Uh, fight the battle. Yeah, uh, let's go in and thump this. We need to minimize our losses, of course. Uh, we do get good replenishment, but, um, yeah. Just early game, everyone hates us. Better to keep our armies intact as much as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely worth keeping our armies intact as much as possible. I do sort of wish for this game. Um, they had a little bit more variety with the old weapons, like special, unique weapons for officers and the like. Um, I think they do pretty well, you know, for the most part, actually. I do think they do pretty well, but just the, the historical variety that were available, like the variety of, of different types of spear, like the really long three, four meter length spears versus the shorter spears. Differences in shields and stuff I can sort of live with, um, because of course, like the shield that you see the Yosha with here, that was a more northern shield. It was definitely what the Han armies used. Um, but the southerners tended to use something that was a little bit more like a Roman legionary shield. Um, because it suited, you know, the materials they had and their fighting style and everything a little bit more differently. Um, the north as well, the northerners had a different type of bow entirely. G-Militia, G-Militia. Yeah, let's just uh, focus on their archers for a second, boys. Um, so you chaps can advance up here just a touch. You can go over here. Um, we will chucky chucky and we will 
chucky chucky. Um, yeah, so the southerners tended to use a different type of bow as well. They used a solid wood bow, whilst the northerners would tend to use a compound bow. Uh, the reason is, like in the south, the, the wet weather would not really work at all with a, a compound bow, which is pull it apart. Whilst in the uh, north, you know, the compound bow gave you a lot more power, the weather worked in its favour and all the rest. It's just a better, better option. Um, so there was a lot more variety, and this game doesn't do a bad job for variety. I know a lot of people worried at the beginning that, you know, it was just all Chinese. How could they have anything different? But people forget that China is a huge country made up by multiple nationalities. And of course, with this game, you know that they are going to want to have... Oh, keep on runaway mode. They're going to want to have a decent variety of... Um, go on, come over here. You as well. They're going to have a decent variety of stuff coming out for DLC, so I expect to see stuff like the Wuhan, the Shanbei, the Xiongnu and stuff come out much later on in DLC. I certainly hope we get the Wuhan, um, because we really need the White Wolf battle, the campaign. Uh, we need that in our lives. It was an incredibly fought campaign, and I just love to see it. We have the Chang, of course, because so we have like Ma Tang and uh, Han Sui with their their people but the, the northeast in there and the Xiongnu the Xiongnu played such a big part in the early stage of the Emperor's escape and acting as mercenaries and being part of the armies the fact that we cannot get Xiongnu still is an irritation for me um, personal irritation for me right so here we are we've taken Chen um, so that's a lot of money and all which would be Fantastic with Chen Ji. Um, however, we need to collect some soldiers. Ah. Well, these soldiers are pretty buggeringly awful. We'll grab a couple of you chaps, and I think we will bring our man or that in here as well. Um, you've got some yellow turban warriors. I could get some jads. It's a lot of money. But some cavalry. Just a unit of cavalry could be quite a lot of fun. Awesome job. Uh, you, my man. You. You, you, you. Yellow turban horseman. Now that. Jads. Yellow turban horseman. Yeah, it's a yellow turban horseman. Yellow turban horseman, they are just not as good. Let's get some jazza. All right, done. Excellent. Um, we're just thumping the shit out of them. Wang Zhu, I, I'm guessing he doesn't want peace. No. Liu Biao doesn't want peace. Liu Biao isn't even close to peace. No problem. Right, let's move on. I'm just collecting some extra troops. I am sort of now in a mind to swing to Nanyang and take out Xie. Uh, we're going to forget about Luoyan. Yingchuan is an issue. Here you are. Wang Shi faction heir. Liu Gong and Huang Zhu. Now my boys are a little bit tired. You've got cavalry. I'm just going to pull back. You're welcome to follow. No, you're not going to follow. It's a shame we don't have night battles, actually. Um, okay, army reports. Come oh, man uh, was forced to withdraw. Oh no, it's the end of the world. How dare he withdraw? Um, what we can do here, yeah. oh, man's forced to withdraw. You can sit here, and you can definitely go into ambush mode just in case they threaten to attack here now i know all of these chaps are replenishing and all the rest but we could potentially leave that land and come hmm so this is the question huainan huainan has shouchun du chao uli bu shi well well, I think we start to shift down this way now. Um, we start to shift down this way so we can get rid of Kong Zhou. 
Uh, these guys are just going to take three turns now rather than two turns. That's all right. We can live with that. We still got a little bit of income coming in on this front. Nobody wants peace with us. It's not getting that much better. So ourselves then. If we can thump Kong Zhou out, it gives us a, a nice little bit of uh, area here. Now Tao Tao is over here in Suiyang and Pei Xian. He shouldn't really be here. I know why he's here, but this was actually Liu Chong's territory down here. Um, but he's there because that's where he, he, after the coalition fell apart, that's where he fell back to his family lands, which were in Chao, which is over here. But he's there. It does slightly annoy me. He should actually be a wandering horde. Uh, with an aim for taking out Dong over here, um, which is what he did historically. But you know, we can we can ignore it. The 190 start date is really not all there for historical accuracy. It's not not close to being as good as either the uh, yellow turban start date. Oh, hello, Liu Chong, um, or the 194. And hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, let's start this. We've got reinforcements coming in. Reinforcements, we've got some cavalry and stuff. We're going to need to fight for a little bit. This could be quite fun. They have a lot of generals and cavalry. That's what's giving them some ground here. We don't have any archers, so we can't really cut down their G militia. Their axes won't stand. Guaranteed. Their cavalry is a problem. Their cavalry is a big problem, but I have some unbreakable units. But these... Like the the G militia cavalry, um, the militia cavalry, they hit pretty damn hard, even late game, if you use them right. So, you know, they're a threat no matter what. Uh, right. Huang Zhu is there. Come oh, man. Yes, I'm going to want you to go full maracas mode on some people. That's for certain. You're going to be here and you're going to start hitting people until they die. You boys coming down here to hit stuff. Um, you're going to be here. You're going to be here. You chaps are going to be here and you chaps are going to be here. Right, we can't unfortunately give any orders. So ride you. Shoot. Charge. 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 Kinda. Charge. Excellent job. Right, in we go. Go explain to him why he's a dead man. I think that's the best thing for it. In we go, in we go, in we go. You boys have done your bit. You guys are unbreakable, so just stand there and take all the heat in the world. Focus. Focus. Good on you boys. Right. Um, yeah, just, just just, dig in. Dig in. Dig in. We're enjoying this. We're enjoying this. They don't stand a chance. Splash damage, if you don't mind. Uh, you chaps. Magnificent job. Run away now. Run away. This way now. Good. They're broken. Yep. In we go. Uh, Huang Shi. See, he, because he's a sentinel, I'm not super keen on dueling him. He's not that much of a fighting sentinel. Out we come, Jazza. Out we come. You chaps are going to advance up here. Take this flank. You boys, chase. Chase and chase hard. Well done, lads. In we go. Dig in. Dig in, dig in, dig in. This is not going to be a pretty victory. Um, I think I think you can see that. Go on. You're a little bit outnumbered there, boys. Sorry, but go on. Thump. <clears throat> Beat him into a bloody pulp. Where are my reinforcements? Come on, cavalry. Out we come. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. In. You boys, fight here. You. Come over here, actually. Forget him for a second. Come over here. Come on. Smash! Damn it. My yellow turbans have gone all yellow turbany. And retreated. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Cav out. You, focus. You, yellow sky heralds. Yes, you are my sacrificial unit. You've been excellent at it as well. 
Hopefully my yellow turban uh, soldiers will get back. They have gone. Jazza, if you don't mind, chase you boys in here. Uh, you boys as well. Come over here. Let's help out. Let's help out. Um, yeah, and you just thump them until they can be thumped no more. Right, let's dig in. Uh, you boys, can you come round this flank of the G Militia? Just a little? There we go. And the reinforcements shall come soon. You formed up. You're facing the wrong way. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Ah, shit. Well, they may be gone. Um, but in we go. Come on. And the reinforcements are here. Advance. Cav, Cav. I need you. I need you quickly. I need you quickly to rear charge here. Um, yeah, they're running. That's sort of expected, frankly. You guys in here. Ah. One, two. Straight up. You and you. Come in here. You stay on him. These guys are doing a pretty good job. Jadza are still chasing off their people, which means they might survive this. They may not, though. Who knows? It'll be fun to find out. You come in here. Hopefully the other unit will come back. Oh, man. Stay on Liu Gong, if you don't mind. Come on. Come on, cavalry. Come on. In here. In here. Oh man, no way. Pull your ass together, my man. Why are you running? We're winning this fight. Back here. Cavalry, get in. Charge. Excellent job. Smashed in there. There we go. You're back as well, which is what we want to see. Archers. Archers, archers, archers. You don't have anything left to shoot at, really? Um... So come over here. Poor oh, man, if you don't mind, I would like you back into that fight. Please. Cavalry, focus on them. You, focus on him. Bring him down. Right, their cav has just buggered off. You chaps in here. Uh, one yellow sky herald. You've earned a reprieve. Live, my friend, live. Um... Right, one of you needs to chase. One of you needs to chase. You, back here. Right, you, take that off. You, take that off. And do you know what? See if you can just do a little bit of damage to him with this. I don't know if you can. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, shit. He's doing it. <laughs> right. In... In. Ah, shit. Boys, shoot. Cavalry back. Back, 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 back. Break these guys. Break them, break them, break them. Archers, back here. Reform. Right, they've broken. You focus here. My other cavalry has run away for reasons that only it knows and understands. Yellow Sky Herald here. You, you, and you. Thump. Bring him down. Or at least make him run. You come back this way. Uh, let's have one of you as well. Uh, two of you, I think. There we go. And speed it up. Bloody unnecessary battle. Um, but, yeah. We smash their armies. We'll replenish. Not the end of the world. Oh, you can run away. You're yellow turbans. That's what you do. You run away. <clears throat> but we suck them into a fight. Um, we'll be able to, hopefully with a little bit of extra money gained from this, just fill out uh, her man's unit. Um, if we can take out this little lad here, that would be magnificent. Yeah, he's fucked off. So we shouldn't have anything back from him. Victory. Right, hunt him, please. I would like him brought down, if possible. Her man's health is still in a good spot. Excellent. Close victory, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be Pyrrhic. 
That man's army got an absolute tanking. That's what happens when you go up against that much cavalry with uh, three fighting officers. Um, with, with pretty low tier shit, shit troops, frankly. Still. A win's a win. Good. Gong, yeah, we'll release you. Uh, we're going to take replenishment because we need it. You're coming back? Fascinating. Jong Tun and Sui Yu. Jong Tun and Sui Yu. And a stone rooster. So, he has leveled up. Hmm. Melee evasion, movement range, speed, very useful indeed. Surprise attack, I do love. I do love it causes fear and everything. It's it's magnificent. Um, but we need this for the movement range before we do anything else. That that's a given. On the old recruitment front, um, I think we can bring in another one of these. That's a lot of money, but uh, it's fine. Then, Yu Chong. Yu Chong's force is is solid. It's properly solid. We're going to have to have a good fight there. That's that's going to be fun. You, my man, um, I think can actually sit in there. I know it doesn't help the replenishment, but, you know, it's fine. Um, here. Sui Yu, philosopher, or Zhang Sun, the brewer. Uh, Sui Yu. In you come. Good man. You'll help out, no doubt, in the near future. Uh, on the old peace front, you Chong Kong, Zhou, no. They're going to take a little bit more than just the occasional smack in the face for anything to happen. Um, so we shouldn't uh, push them too hard for peace. See if Liu Chong's going to attack us. Well, he's buggered off, hasn't he? Virtue increased, balanced, magnificent, absolutely brilliant. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, hello, more money, yellow turbans, strive for balance, reach balance. We got experience, very, very nice indeed. Um, oh, and now we need to reach healed. And we need to send a character on assignment and get a noble sword. Wisdom and scholarly consideration will lead to a better future. Uh, we need a scholar's lodge. Okay. And we've got... Oh, we've researched reform. Excellent. Active planning. Declawing the tiger. This journey is killed by Huang Zhu. How? I killed Huang Zhu. That's not fair. And so his game, Book of the People. Well, we definitely want this for our man. Here. Have. I mean, that actually isn't wholly useful. Is it? For him. But I feel it's somewhat fitting for him to have it. Um, we can change this to something else a little bit later on. Uh, you have leveled up as well. Um, so what can we get here? All fronts, melee evasion, wonderful. One with the people. Morale, melee evasion, very nice. Effortless flow. Movement speed, it is. Very, very good indeed. Right, you are replenishing here. We are going to recruit Sui Yu. Uh, into your force, we have uh, Yuan Kang, uh, Yuan Kuang as well. I have to think that he is a local. This Sui Yu, I just don't know who this man is. I might look him up between. He comes quite high level. If anybody does know, leave it in the comments below. But I, I just don't know who he is. 
I don't want to spend money on a yellow turban spearman, Captain. I know they want me to, but these are dross. Um, but we definitely could do with you uh, in this army. So in you go. You can be there. Let's build up our armies. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try and research who this chap is and see if Yuan Kuang is anyone, but I don't think either of them are really anyone of note. You've got some research to do, um, and we've got an army that needs its face kicking in. But are we in a state to do it with this force? That's the question for next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.